Hey guys, welcome back. In the past, we've reviewed some Chewy laptops, and they've always been great value for money. John, a representative of Chewy, decided to send us their brand new Lockbox X for video review. With an Intel N100 processor, and a nice price, can this mini PC steal a show? We'll find out today. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribble, give me a kiss. This arrived. And very much like the Chewy laptop, this came wrapped very well. I was always a fan of the Beastie Boys. The box itself is very simple, and on the back we have a bit more information about the computer. This one's pre-installed with Windows, has 12GB of memory, and 512GB of storage space. Inside the box everything looks very tight, nothing's going to be shaking around in here. Inside this we've got some manuals, it's a warranty, a small piece of card, a product inspection report, and a large manual in multiple languages. Ni hao, konnichi wa, hutentard, rostum. We've got to hand it to Chewy. They did a really good packing this thing. This cardboard box here acts as a bit of a spacer, and inside it, we have a power adapter. It's got a barrel end, and it's running at 12 volts, 3 amps, and a maximum of 36 watts. Let's take a look at the mini PC itself. Now this thing looks beautiful. The plastic feels a bit different to other mini PCs, and it's rather light at 380 grams. Luckily there's some rubber feet at the bottom, so it's not going to slip anywhere. With the grill at the top and the air intake holes at the back, this mini PC could be one of the coolest we've seen to date. Looking at the front we've got two USB 3 ports, a USB-C, audio jack, and a power switch. Boop boop boop. Next to that we've got a pinhole to reset the BIOS. This side looks like a cow. Out of the back we got a power DC input, two LAN ports, 2.5 gigabits a second, and 1 gigabit a second. HDMI 2, and display port. Both of these can do 4K at 60 Hz. Next to that we got two more USB 3 ports. And this side is also empty with one little sticker. On the bottom we got something that looks like a piggy bank. We've no idea why this is the case, but we can open it up later. It's about time for the size comparison. The Lockbox X2023 is slightly larger than the B-Link N95, in both width, length and height. If you compare it to the OG Lockbox, the new one is four times as large. Well mine is five times as large, and it vibrates. And it's this much bigger than a Roybush teabag. This mini PC has the Intel N100 chip, with 12GB DDR5, a 512 gigs SSD, it seriously looks like Chewy want to shake up the market, especially when looking at the low RRP of 199 American. Let's turn it on. On first boot, it'll take us to the Windows setup screen. It'll give us a few questions like language, time zone, and username. Just make sure you're writing a fake name, and also refuse Skynet. So that process took around five minutes, and checking the system settings, it is as advertised. Windows 11 Home's installed, and to activate it, we need to get online. Thankfully, the Wi-Fi is really good on this machine, and activation is no problem. When getting a fresh copy of Windows, I like to install some free software. We can do so by heading to ninite.com, clicking a few boxes, and then hit go. From here, we can get a free open source version of Office, so we can do our homework. We can also make spreadsheets, slides, and things like that too. Or we can make some artwork with Krita, which is like an open source version of Adobe Photoshop. Using this for internet and online shopping is no problem at all. Look, there's the mini PC we're reviewing. Wait a second. Um, Chewy, fix the listing, these are the wrong pictures. If you wanted to shop on AliExpress, this also works great. And this on the Chewy shop is going now for $177. Not bad. Or we could just look for random stuff. If you wanted to watch YouTube in 4K, this box has you covered. The Intel N100 chip has quick sync, as well as AV1 decoding, which helps out when streaming videos online. And this applies if you want to Netflix and chill. Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous TV show. Oh yeah. Here's the benchmarks, for those who care. As we want to play some games, we need to connect our controller. Using an 8-bit dope Bluetooth pad, we can pair in Windows with no problems whatsoever. And I think it's time to check out some games. First up, Cuphead.
Streets of Rage 4. The Fall Guys. At 1080p, we see 3D games struggling. By changing the resolution down to 720p, we can get a playable game. Same applies to Burnout Paradise. 720p, normal settings, gives us about 55 FPS. Setting it to low, gives us full speed. Smash another driver off the road. Funk it up. Let's funk it up a bit with Katamari Damacy reroll. Skyrim. You need to follow him closely. Eventually he will give you a nice warm cup of Tetley's and a stick of wriggly spearmint gum. See us go. Grand Theft Auto 5. Yakuza 0. So if you want to play newest 3D games, you may need to look elsewhere, but on this channel, we'd like to try something else. But first, we're going to check out the BIOS. The BIOS included is extremely bare bones, but at least we can boot up from other locations. For example, we can load up Batacera, and that runs fine, as is the case of other versions of Linux. But currently, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers for this mini PC are not included in the latest version. So today, we're going to use Retrobat in Windows to test out emulation. Always a favourite, Amiga. Three DL. Sega Dreamcast. The Thomas Wave. She's getting experimental again with the tentacles. I will watch later on Homely Fans. Sega Model 3. Second tag on the main. and some Killer Instinct 2. Moving on, Nintendo 64. GameCube. And a more demanding game, F-Zero GX. Nintendo Wii. PSP now, running at four times resolution.
and even PlayStation 2 is possible. Here's Gradius 5, one of my favourite games. Tekken 5. And Gran Turismo 4, running at one and a half times resolution. Let's go! Who's with me? Xbox. Let's have a look inside. To open it up, there's four screws at the bottom, and use a guitar pick to crack it open. So there's enough space in here for a two and a half inch drive, but unfortunately no cable, so we can't connect anything. At the top we have an M2 SSD, and this one here is by AirDisc. Who the heck are AirDisc? Do they blow? We still don't know what the bottom of this case is about. I think it's about time for the pros and the cons. The Chewy Lockbox X2023 is really good value for money. I mean, if you have a family member who cares about their energy bill and wants a small computer that's capable in Windows, this is perfect. Just remember that it won't be running all of the latest games. So what do you guys think of the newest Chewy? Is it worth grabbing for your parents? Or maybe you'd like to try one for emulation? Because currently, this is one of the best budget PCs on the market. So while we play Outrun 2 SP SDX on the same mini PC, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreons. We really appreciate the continued support, and you guys are fantastic. We'd also like to thank John. I'm John. No, no not you, John. Fine. I quit. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I mean, the guy from Chewy. I'm just kidding. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like, subscribe, and bell. We also have many other videos. But please check, 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 check them out.